Hi, my name is Ian Stanford, and this is my resilience story. One experience in my life that really tested my emotional strength was my 10th grade winter vacation to my grandmother's house in New Mexico. The entire visit ended up being really tense. Over the course of the time that we spent there, small passive-aggressive interactions began to pile up. Near the end of the visit, we saw in the weather forecast that we had to leave earlier than expected if we wanted to be able to get back in time for my sister to return to school. This would prove to be a painful decision with a silver lining. My grandmother had been drinking in the early hours of the morning when my father approached at her to talk about leaving early. I observed most of the following events from the couch I was sleeping on last night, pretending to still be asleep. Not entirely incorrect in assuming that it was her fault, my grandmother started to break down. She began to talk about how she ruins everything and doesn't deserve anything, and that nobody truly loves her. Because of past experiences with her, my parents both assumed that this was going to be some kind of emotional manipulation. My mother ended up talking about specific issues that she had with my grandmother, but also about how she could fix them. However, she wasn't really using the kindest tone of voice as she was talking. At this point, my step-grandfather came into the room and said a few things that unintentionally made the situation escalate. Eventually, my grandmother said that she was going to kill herself, and that she knew where her husband kept a gun in the house. Initially, he didn't believe her, but with a little bit of persuasion from my parents, he moved it away from where it was. As all of this played out, my sister called the suicide hotline. For a little bit of extra context about the situation, I was about half a year into therapy for a, cl for a case of clinical depression that had been going on for at least three years beforehand. My mother immediately got angry at my grandmother and essentially said that she was being a horrible influence, considering that I had once expressed a lack of a will to live in the past. Emergency services soon showed up, and my parents went with my grandmother and step-grandfather to the hospital, leaving my, me and my sister to, alone to support each other after the incident. Somehow, my grandmother managed to convince the hospital that she went to that she was emotionally stable enough to be released in less than 24 hours. My parents insisted that she and her husband get some form of marriage counseling, and they did agree and did start doing it, only to drop it some months later. We left the day following that incident without anything else notable happening. Ever since I was a witness to that event, I tried hard to get to a point where I would never end up making somebody else experience the same thing. And I can gladly say that over the course of the following years, I moved on from needing therapy and became a medication-only patient for the health service that I was using. We went on another shorter winter visit a year after the event, and it went much better since people were actually talking about whenever they had issues and were able to resolve them more quickly. Overall, the experience highlighted the importance of healthy communication to everyone and improved our relationships with one another, despite all the stress involved in the original situation. The whole experience made me much more aware of the effects one person's mental health has on others. This, alongside simply helping yourself, is a reason why mental health is a very important is a very important subject. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, please consider reaching out to get some kind of treatment. Speaking from experience, I know that it can only help.